Welcome back. Uh, I think we'll have to make a save. I think I will have to make a save. Yes, new save. Jack. Oh, 19. I think this is the 19th drive. Just in case, in case something bad happens. Um, okay. Um, let's have a look at the job market again. Um, there's one thing I've mentioned on the forums to SES. It's the... I think it's, was, it was someone else who mentioned it first, but I supported uh, the thing. The mail system is very um, s silent. It's not much happening. I've got four emails since the start of the game, and I think that part of the game could have been developed better, uh, a little bit more. But if I take out the lo loan, which I think I will do, uh, then I think things will probably work up a little because if I have troubles paying my debt and such but we'll see first we're going to drive from Salzburg to somewhere Linz or Wien Wien would be nice Bratislava that is far away yes Bratislava is very nice and there's an urgent delivery with Having oversized cargo, low bed semi trailers. Looks like a fancy truck too. It's a majestic high roof with sleeper. Uh, reservoir tank to München. No. Wien. Uh, digger to Wien. Oh, that's a good value one. I think that's the best one so far. But I like to... Yes, I think we take that because it pays well. Bratislava was also tempting, but Wien wasn't that far away and it paid the same price almost, I think. Okay. Ah, this is an interesting place. We are starting this trip... Oh, listen to this one. Lovely sound. This is one of my favorite trucks, favorite trucks in the game. I think this is the one I have on my other character. I bought one of those and I think I've kept that for quite a while. I really like the sound of this and it's uh, it's strong, it's a strong one. Although we have to get to low gear here. <laughs> it's deep. But we're getting up. No worries. And this is a 5 hour 37 minutes estimated time. Uh, we have 8 hours 41 to go to, to deliver it. So we're well within limits. 537 that means um, approximately 25 minutes a little lower perhaps somewhere between 20 and 25 minutes drive I think I mentioned it before but I think one hour is four minutes in game that is very suitable I think I think they have scaled it uh, perfectly so we get a feeling of uh, long drives and short drives um, fairly well and uh, it makes the roads being uh, quite dynamic so you don't get bored so easily there's always something you have very very rarely you get long stretches with not much happening so so it's um, it's not like one should uh, should think that a truck driving game is boring I don't think it is. I think it's very entertaining. As I said, in a relaxing way the other day. Almost meditative. This, then we're out of the... I don't know what you call these uh, in English. Uh, a gravel... 
gravel something. We're soon getting to the to the local road. There's no highway here. But we're going to war Salzburg. Okay, I see. So we we got the job in Salzburg, but we're still going towards Salzburg, so it must be, we have probably been on the road between Salzburg and Stuttgart, I, uh, Salzburg and München perhaps, let's see, let's have a look, oh no, there's a road south of the highway we took from Innsbruck to Salzburg, so that's, um, hmm, Interesting. A narrow road there. That's probably a very nice place to drive. Look at the scenery, it's not bad. Probably a very nice place to drive from Innsbruck to Salzburg or the other way. When are we going to do that in daylight someday? Especially if I have chosen to turn off the route advisor. I will probably go for following the signs, and the signs will tell me to take this road. Even though it's probably slower, it will be a better drive. It's 9 in the morning. got a long stretch of daylight ahead of us that's a good thing when I drive my own truck I tend to sleep as much as I can when it's dark so I often push it so I can drive as long as possible in daylight and sleep in the evening and the night simply to avoid the darkness there's a train again two trains I like the details, it's a nice, um, nice little landmark. It's the competi competitors. They're probably competing with my business, indeed. So we gotta push on. Some heavy... Energy lines here. Those were quite quite huge. Here we have an E acres place again. We're soon getting to the highway now. see the cranes that I saw when we entered uh, Salzburg earlier. So we're close to the city, yeah we can see it on the route advisor too. So now we're going to drive almost into the city and out again. Traffic light, better beware in case someone are standing here waiting. And I got the red light. Stop. So they're constructing in Salzburg, the old city. With I would expect Salzburg to have a lot of monumental, beautiful old buildings. But they probably need some new architecture too. Then 
we're already leaving Salzburg. That was a short visit. I like the, in, uh, the display on the dashboard here, the digital way, and uh, the details are very, very visible. You see, I'm in drive 10 uh, gear shift now. Uh, the time is 10:10. 10, 10. I've driven this truck has driven 99,000 kilometers. Hey, what do you want? Um, I guess the 1340 kilometers uh, that's got to be the amount I can drive before I have to refuel. Ah, that's quite likely. And 644 liters is what I have on the and that makes sense actually with this load. A little more, a little more than 500, five liters per per no, per m 10 kilometers. 0.5 liter per kilometer, we can say. And it's 23 degrees Celsius outside. Nice, nice details. Oh, here we still see the Alps. The Alps is rather long, uh, but this is probably the end of them. I think um, the surroundings will change uh, a lot now. Incoming from behind there. If we made it. To break a little though. So let's get cruise control on now, and there we can put on cruise. That's good. Nice lake here. It's been quite a while, and a village over there. It's really dangerous to look out the windows. It's um, again. I would like to have a pause button so I could look around while the truck is still. It's a bit too troublesome to actually park along the road to check out things. I've done that on occasions too, but for this let's play, I think that would be uh, a bit silly. Okay, here we go. There's another one. This is reminding me of Germany. There are takeoffs around every turn. In the middle of Germany, that's very very frequent. There are Ausfahrt around every bend. Okay, how are we doing? Two hours till two and a half hours till we arrive. So we're a little over halfway then. Oh, this is 
is a good stretch. Those three lane highways are very relaxing to drive on. So this is typical Germany and Austria. Especially Germany has loads of those um, highways. Very, very convenient. nice that they have in this game have made different kinds of uh, of uh, textures for the asphalt for the tarmac the tarmac is um, see we just passed an area where it looked different well, this is a very traditional kind I think and here is a new one with uh, lots of uh, lots of scars in it, I really like the detail. It's nice. I wonder was yes, the turn we just went through. That was the first place I totally wrecked my truck and had to call for emergency help with my other character. Because I was looking at that castle we saw up on the left side there. And then, when I looked back on the road, my truck was going totally wrong direction. And I had to turn sharply, and boom, the whole truck flipped. That was a shocking experience. So there, so look there, it's another nice castle. Beautiful. Just like it is in Austria, I think. I remember when driving in um, Austria, South Germany and uh, East, southeastern France. There's lots of those beautiful castles up in the hillsides. I have stopped at a few of them, and it's um, it's really neat, nice, very special atmosphere. I think I soon have to take another drive through Europe. This game is motivating me for that. <laughs> Actually, it is. Okay, 106 kilometers. Wow. I think that must be close to the high speed I've ever had. 106 kilometers per hour. That's well done. This is a very nice road. It's it's um, what should we say? I can't find the word again. There's lots of hills. The road goes up and down. Different altitudes, I suppose we call it. Look! What a beautiful... Uh, on the side there. 
Oops, this is dangerous. <laughs> I shouldn't do this. So V in. We can see V in the distance there. I guess that uh, huge high building there is uh, some important building in Wien. As I said, I've never been in Vienna, so I I don't know. So we're going to make a delivery in the countryside again. That's okay. make a perfect parking now, can we? Shouldn't be that hard, should it? Oh, this looks... Ah, uh, it looked good, but I ruined it in the last second there. Well, semi-perfect, I guess I can say. Excellent. Ping, ping, ping. There was a lot of pings. Skill rank for long distance delivery, high value cargo, urgent delivery, and all of that. So we get extra experience for everything and extra money for all of it. So this is really good. Um, so that shows the importance, especially when it comes to experience also. Um, because we can see that we get 351 experience for the base reward. The rest here is actually almost the same amount at least 80% of the amount that we get as base reward so that shows how important it is to do special kinds of deliveries because of the bonus so that's both money wise and experience wise it's good to do special deliveries in different types of different kinds then we leveled up, I think. Yes, we did. Um, I think I'm just gonna put in go even. So long distance is will benefit us even more. And just take them in, um, in turn. Okay. Then I think that was it for now. So thanks for watching. Take care, see you soon. Bye-bye.